<laughs> get it too low. <laughs> hey, hey, hold up, y'all. I got to say this. I got to say this. Let me make sure it's not too exposing right now. Hold on. Oh, I got to get on my knees. I can use this actually as well. But hey, hey, yo, 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 I gotta say this. I don't even think it's gonna be long, bro. I'm just so energized and I'm so excited about this. Um, and I'm, I'm shaving right now. But I had to stop. I'm in the middle of shaving and I just had to stop real quick because golly, bro, this shit makes sense to me now. Like, I get it. Like, think about this. Like, I'm. I'm looking at my interactions and my messages with all of like these spiritual people, all these people who claim to be my fucking friend, man. This is what I want to say to y'all. Fuck you. All of y'all niggas out there who pretend and act like you're my friend. Fuck you. Like on some real shit. Because I literally am out here teaching and giving from my heart all the time. I'm not angry, bro. I'm not angry. I'm, I'm like liberated. Like I woke up and I'm like, bro. What I got to lose? Like what? I'm going to lose my kids? Like what? I'm going to lose my wife? I'm going to lose my relationships? I'm what? I'm going to lose a job? Nigga, I ain't got none of that shit. Don't have any of it. So it's like all of y'all out there who act like you my friend, like fuck you. Because you literally playing sides for people in my life lying on me, doing damage to me. Fuck you. And the ones who say that you love me, same thing to you. Now, everybody else who's not like that, like that's not to Velvet. That's not to Janae and them. Those are my baby mamas. Don't, that's not to them. Everything that I'm doing is to support them and they know that. I love them. Fuck what y'all think, bro. Fuck what the internet is saying and fuck what you guys are trying to say into their heads, into their ears, fucking with my family, bro. Everything be cool. They be moving off of shit y'all say. These women are impressionable, and that's just what it is, bro. It's, they be doing things to make y'all happy. Like, I'm glad. My inbox was loaded today with people telling me, bro, we saw that shit with Janae. We saw what she's doing versus you, bro. You keeping it real. Fuck that shit. We ain't buying it. We're not buying it. We know her history versus yours. We're not buying it, bro. We're, you're good. We fucks with you. Don't worry. I'm like, wow. I literally expected the opposite. Before I did that, Live with her explaining vulnerably everything that I could and her just tossing it to the side. Everybody just was like saying the most negative things to me. And before that, that people thought I was stealing her credit. People thought I was using her accounts or doing all kinds of things like that. And, and bruh, fuck you niggas, bro. Fuck you. You liars. You cheaters. You, you, all you people who just want to be negative in our lives, bro, and want to feed off of these lies and helping these, like making people think it's okay to do this. Like you guys have bad hearts. If you out here lying, you have a bad heart. If you sitting on the throne of lies, bro, y'all need to fix that and stop letting people think that this is okay. It's not okay, bro. This is a new day, my nigga. I'm, I'm up. I am up, up, up. Like. All of y'all niggas, bro. And I realize the reason why I talk to some of y'all the way I talk to y'all is because you act like little fucking kids. So I got to son you. I don't mean to son you. I have to talk like a dad. I have to talk like a father. And that's what everybody was telling me they seen. They said, bro, you look like a father. You, you look like a dad. That's how you was talking. Like, what? Who are you talking? Like, that's what it is. I'm not angry. I'm passionate. I always talk like this. I always act like this. If you love me, you would know that. It's not a lack of emotional control because if we was here, it would be fun as hell. People, people who I fuck with and who I resonate with, they understand. They get it. No, you don't know who I am before Nature Boy, dumb ass. That's your problem. You don't know who I was before Nature Boy. I wasn't even online before Nature Boy. I was just in real life being me. You guys don't know me, though. You never knew me. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just realizing y'all keep the lies. Y'all keep the bullshit. Y'all keep the deceit. Y'all keep stealing and taking. Y'all keep doing that. That's fine. I'm about to take care of me. I'm going to handle me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to go clean up. I'm, about to, I'm in cleanup mode right now, bro. I'm in cleanup mode. Don't worry. How, how are we dumb, but you let a man... Because, nigga, that's called life. Like, you went to school, didn't you? 
You learned lies, didn't you? All right then, shut up. All of us have been played at some point in time. Majority of y'all are still getting played by the matrix and you don't even know it. So miss me with that. At least I knew there was more to that world. At least I knew that. And at least I figured it out and at least I tried to do something about it, regardless of my age or how I tried. Most of us were 19, 20 when they did that. Young, looking for a leader, looking for a mentor, looking for someone to help us. You got a problem with that? We had to find out he was, he was lying about things. I didn't even know the majority of his lies until after I left. Still. Still. Like, my bro just hit me up today talking about that. Like, bro, what did you ever see in that nigga? He was talking to me this rising about it. Like, my nigga, like my nigga bro. Like, what was, like, what was that about? Hey, shout out to Rock. Y'all go, y'all go look out for Rock the Great. That's my nigga. He was, he was talking to me about this today. Rock the Great. Y'all go find Rock the Great and go listen to his music, bro. San Diego niggas. Anyway... He telling me, bro, what did you ever see in that nigga, man? What was that? Why did you do any of that shit? And I'm like, bro, I was into quantum physics. I was into metaphysical science, bro. I really loved that stuff. I was studying that stuff my whole life. And when I seen him talking about stuff like that, I was like, yo, this is it. This is it. Yo, I found somebody. I, every time I saw drama or a video with drama or someone talking about him, I went past it. I didn't even look at it. I'm like, nah, ain't that ain't going to teach me nothing. I don't care about that. That ain't going to teach me nothing. And so I wouldn't look at the drama and I wouldn't look at what people were saying. And because of what he was teaching, I just assumed that people couldn't hang. People couldn't kick it. Who was around him? I just figured they couldn't grasp the knowledge. It wasn't him. It was them. And this is what we all thought from the outside looking in. Once you get there and you realize that you're suppressing all of your nature's. Once you start learning astrology and you start learning who you really are and you start realizing that you're not supposed to be there, things start to change. Energy start to change. You start to fight. We start to get combative. Things started going crazy there because we weren't supposed to be living like that, doing that. That's not what it's about. We had a lot of knowledge, but we weren't living it right at all. Up to this point, up to today, even today, even now, I'm doing this and what I'm doing is beautiful, bro. It's beautiful. I'm embracing the best parts of me. I don't feel like I have anything to lose anymore. I really don't. I'm open to receive. I'm open to love. I'm open to give. And I fuck with me, bro. I don't want to have sex with none of y'all. For real, for real. I don't really fuck with y'all. Like, I fuck with me, bro. Y'all really don't understand that. I really am always really good with me. I be trying to be with other people. I would love to have other people in my life. But it just don't work. So all of you people who pretend to be my friend, fuck you, suck a dick, bro. Don't text me no more. Don't call me no more. I caught your bitch ass, bro. Y'all know who, you know who you are. You know who you're not. You know who you are and you know who you're not. If the boot fucking fits, strap that bitch on and wear it. If you just got hit, dog, holla. Because you know who I'm talking to. So I'm going to be doing something. I'm going to be doing something really dope. Really beautiful. Yeah. I am grateful. I am number one. Let's thank God. Let's thank God for everything. Let's be grateful for everything in our life. Bruh, my kids are going to be fine. My children are going to be straight. Janae is with her family. She's safe. She's fine. I don't need anything to do with her anymore. Velvet is good. I know where she is. She's safe. They're not that smart trying to lie to me. I know where she is. That's fine. They're good. They're safe. I don't give a fuck anymore, bro. People are out there lying on me. And I don't do nothing but tell the truth and give love. And when I tell the truth, it sounds bad because you want some fuck shit. Facts. But when you try to talk about what I'm doing and you start fabricating what I'm doing, you start fabricating who I am, you become a literal liar. A literal liar. Janae and Velvet, I'm doing all of this for y'all, for my children, for the followers, for anybody who really wants to make a change, bro. I'm doing what I'm about to do for y'all, okay? I'm going to change my life. I don't expect near one of you hundred people in this room to really support me moving forward. I haven't seen it to this day. It's a couple people who the support I get is by overgiving for pennies. Bro, I'm good on all of this, bro. I'm about to do what I want to do. 
I'm about to be me now. I'm about to do what I would like to do. Okay? I'm going to go into what I like to do. I'm going to do what y'all want to do. I woke up today, and in my phone, there were certain messages, certain voice recordings from certain people. And all of these messages and all of these recordings were sexual. All of them. All of them. And it's not nasty. It's spiritual. And I had to sit there and realize, when I woke up this rising, I just had a lot of thoughts. What's today's date? The 29th? One, two, one, two, three, four days, three days. So three more days, I guess in four days. No, I, I did. I do. I don't. I'm okay. I know where she is, but it's like they're playing a game, obviously. So I couldn't like put a pinpoint like exactly or if she moved or things changed. And y'all don't even need to know that. I just need to know that because I just need to know she's safe. And even if she's not in that exact place, I know she's good because of who she's connected to. Lie to me all you want, bro. I don't give a fuck. You fucking with my family, my nigga. Fuck you, bro. You ain't never do shit for me anyway. Y'all treated me like a fucking scum. Y'all treated me like an outcast. Never forget that. Never forget that, bro. Never forget how you really treated me while I was always outreaching with love for help. But maybe because I looked like I didn't have a lot of money or something like that, you had to be fake friends, bro. And it's a number of y'all who fit that patina. And you know who you are. This journey has been crazy. And I have been asking for help all around and I haven't received a lot of it. And when I do receive the help, why the bullshit come with it? Why there gotta be hate and all that stuff moving forward and through it? What, because I didn't wanna dedicate myself to what you wanna do to make money? Bro, I'm still me. You can help me be me. Like, you can help me out if you want, but nah. So fuck asking people for help, bro. Because y'all niggas ain't really care about me. Y'all don't really care about my, my women. Y'all don't really care about my children. Y'all don't really care about my family, bro. You don't. You don't. Y'all would love to see us separated. Y'all would love to see me and my family toxic. Y'all would love to see me and my children separated. Y'all would love that. And that's disgusting. That's disgusting. And then the friends who are helping that shit happen, I want you to know, chances are, these women is lying to you anyway. Anyway. I ain't do nothing but give and love. Give, give, and love, and love, and love. And all they want is some more and more and more. No, see, locked and loaded. You said drink some water and calm down, bro. I calmed down, and this is what came up. Do you understand? Clarity. Problem with y'all being so fucking sensitive to energy is that you can't grasp a message deeper than that. Allow somebody to be passionate. Allow somebody to express themselves how they truly want. Y'all don't know what's going on in my life. Y'all don't know what I've been going through lately. But this is what I'm gonna be doing in three days. It's the 29th, 30th, 31st, and then the first, okay? So it'll be four days. Um, on June 2nd, which is my birthday, on June 2nd, which is my birthday, I'm going to be showing up in my birthday suit. In my birthday, I'm gonna be showing up in my birthday suit. No, y'all want me to y'all want me to support my children? I'm starting an OnlyFans. I'm gonna start an OnlyFans. Y'all wanna talk about me? Go ahead. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I love that shit. It's not for you. And I expect zero support. I expect. Zero support from y'all because my whole life, even without one, even without me expressing myself how I want, even without that, I still get zero support from you bitches. Still. So act like you like me. Act like you my friend. What about love? What about this? What about that? I got love. You don't. That's why you being a little demon in my room. That's why you want more and more and more from me because you ain't got enough within yourself. I'm done asking for help. I'm full. I'm satisfied. I'm happy. And I would love to see this trend, and I know I will. Y'all go ahead and hate on me today. Give it some time. Give it some time. I be scrolling through my phone, going through the photos, and I be like, eesh. I gotta skip past a lot of photos. <laughs> I got some bad ass Woo, mwah, looking people around me who are on the same time I'm on. 
Bro, we on this bag season. It's Jupiter and Taurus right now, bro. I'm on bag season right now. But I don't care what y'all think, bro. I could spit on the phone. I could spit this and that. I'm just going to get paid for it now. I could do whatever I want. I don't need to do what you want me to do. I don't need to work the job you want me to work. I don't need to make the type of music you want me to make. I don't need to make the type of footage and videos that you want me to make. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to make what I want to make. I'm going to be able to hit the gym. I'm going to work on my body. I'm going to get sexier. I'm going to get beautiful. I'm going to make thousands and thousands of dollars not coming from any of you. Or maybe some of y'all. <laughs> Bruh, it's nothing. My following is nothing but beautiful people. Like, I see nothing but beautiful people. The most people who be in the lives, y'all ain't my real following. You're not. Y'all be majority of the trolls. And if you're not, you're in there either talking against the trolls or trying to defend me or you're just sitting there listening on some shit and vibing like, yo, I get it. I'm not worried about y'all because the people who I talk to on a regular, I'm, I'm a firm, bro. I know what I'm on. I know what I'm doing. I'm happy with myself. If you want to say this or that about my life, bro, I don't care. Y'all say whatever you want to say, bro. I ain't got nothing to lose. I ain't got no relationship to lose. There's no fu what, what future you see in a relationship with Janae, bro. What, rela what future in a relationship you see with that? What future you seen in a relationship with me and Velvet, bro? You seen how things were? You seen how things been? What? Do you know the future that I see in that? It's only one future that I see in that. Only one future I see in that. Yeah, y'all just ain't gonna win well because y'all would never do what I'm gonna do. You would never do what I want to do. The only future I see with Velvet and Janae is taking care of our children. And living a beautiful, happy, healthy, wealthy life. But I don't know if that's in their agenda. I don't know if that's in their agenda. If it's in their agenda to live a happy, loving, beautiful life with our children, I'm on board. They both already good at expressing their sexual energy. They both have done that shit. I haven't. And I want to. I like that. That's for me. I got a North Node Scorpio in the fifth house. I got a Leo fortune. Do you know what this means? Nigga, express yourself in the sexiest way you can. That's my spiritual purpose, bro. I don't expect you to understand it. This is why nothing's worked. This is why nothing's worked. Yo, I like to do porn. My phone is full of porn of me. And now, my phone is full of porn, but I ain't never going to show you that. They like this shit. What you talking about? Y'all say what you want to say. They like this shit, bro. Now, women, they like this shit. Whether they go public with it or not, they like it. They like it. Bro, I'm done being a pussy, bro. I'm done being a pussy. Bro, I'm going to do what I want to do. Like, I'm done thinking about what y'all, caring about what y'all think. Like, bro, I don't care about what y'all think. I don't. I really never did. What in me has held me back from doing what I want to do? And me doing what I want to do is literally bag season. It's literally bag season. Bruh, I don't care about none of y'all's opinions. You got to understand that. I came to win, bruh. I came to win. Y'all came to play. Y'all playing, bruh. I'm here to win, bruh. I probably just inspired mad people. I don't care about the hate. Like, I'm looking through the comments, bro. Like, I don't care about that. I'm looking at me. I'm like, dang, I kind of look good. Even with that half-shaven face. Y'all don't even see that side. This side, the sun hitting me. I'm glistening. I'm picking angles already, bro. I'm figuring out how I want to do this already. Let me know if this scene looks familiar. How familiar this scene is. How much can we hook this scene up? How much can we make this? How much can we do with this? What happened in your school NFTs? All of that's still going. So for those who don't know, OnlyFans is not limited to porn. OnlyFans is not limited to content like that, okay? OnlyFans would allow me to create a platform to teach occult knowledge and occult sciences as well. It would actually, it's a place where I can link my music there and I can actually um, push my music there as well. I've been looking into OnlyFans for probably about a couple years now and I just haven't done it and I've always wanted to do it. I just never really had like the confidence or the courage for it. And it's not like y'all help. So I had to get past what y'all think. I have to literally like not give a fuck about what y'all think because 
all of y'all opinions, everybody who in here who has a negative opinion about me or like, oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, no, or this or that. Or this. Bro, you ain't never do shit for me in my life. And you never have and you never plan on it. So I'm going to continue to give and I'm going to continue to let the people who want to give back to me be able to do that. I will be there teaching. I will be there doing all kinds of things. I'm opening up a school again. Y'all can talk shit now. But when it's bag season, bro, y'all going to change. Y'all going to think different. Y'all going to think different. Y'all going to talk about me different. You can say whatever you want. I'm wild as fuck. Oh, you saying that person's wild. I guess they're wild. Call me Nature Boy, then. Call me Young Nature Boy. Call me what you want. You're going to do it anyway. I don't care. My name is King Love Solar, obviously. It's right the fuck there. It's right the fuck there. That's my name. That, my name's right there. Y'all going to call me what you want, though. That's why I can't give a fuck. Do you understand now? These women, Janae's sitting on a throne of lies saying I'm using her credit and this and that. Y'all don't know my situation. Y'all don't know what I'm sacrificing. Y'all don't know what I'm dealing with behind closed doors with these women because I don't really expose them. I don't feel the need to. I feel like they got to expose themselves and that's for that, their own integrity. Everything they say about me, bro, majority of that shit be lie anyway. I've been cool. Like, bro, like, what are you talking about? And if I'm going alive to, to go ahead and talk about it and make it clear, I'm like, well, if you really cared to fix this scenario, if you really gave a fuck about the children, why not talk to me privately, though? Why not talk to me privately? I don't care, bro. Velvet fine as hell. Velvet takes beautiful pictures. Very sexy woman. She got videos out online anyway. Not on purpose from the, from the past, but shit. It's there. Janae, she done went through the whole prostitution route already. Your boy the only one who missing. I'm the only one. I'm about to woo, dive in. Yo. Facts. They all, bro, they use their body for money. I don't care. I don't care. I'm more than ready to do this. I'm happy. I'm excited. So June 2nd. June 2nd. June 2nd. My birthday. I'm pulling up in my birthday suit. I'm going to be working out. I'm going to be making myself look sexier and healthier. I'm still going to be doing the NFTs. I'm still doing everything else. The funny thing is, the people in my life, it's not a diss. It's the truth. There's a that's sad. You think that her truth is a diss. No, that's her past. That's the truth. That's what happened. It's not a diss. It's not a diss. Do you understand? It's a fact. Yeah, I, I, I've been tripping for a long time. How much you charging, boy? What you coming? You coming? How much you charging, boy? <laughs> you coming? It is, it, bro, what happened to keeping the knowledge? This is keeping the knowledge, being true to yourself and being true to your heart. Love starts with yourself. So I can't give a fuck about what y'all think when it comes to loving me. If loving me, caused me to, causes me to be an epitome of hate, that's what it takes, bro. And I'd rather be an emperor in my own right. I'd rather be a chief, yes, a king, yes, in my own right, by following my heart, being who I am, and doing what I love to do. And if you got a dream, and there's something you wanna do, and you think because these little shitty people's opinions are gonna fucking, like, no, they don't matter, they don't. Do what you love to do, do what you wanna do. Express yourself how you wanna express yourself. It's a different day and age. Love wins means to accept everybody and anybody for who they are. That means all of y'all in here with those type of comments, you don't love me. Why would I take heed to you? You don't even love yourself. Because if you did and the love was really in you, you'd be like, hey, kudos to you, bro. Have fun. Yeah, that's not for me. But hey, if that, you found out that's what's for you, I'm glad you found your path, bro. I'm glad you found your way. That's what love would do. That's what love would say. A lack of love would say, oh, well, you should do this and you should be that and you should do this. Bro, that's not me, though. And that don't even match my energy. That don't line up with me. Y'all want me to be a beta male. Y'all want me to be a pussy. I refuse. I refuse to let somebody play in my face. I refuse to let somebody sit there and lie to me, bro. I took that my whole life. Y'all think I'm fed up with it by now? I'm fed up with it by now. Are you kidding me? Go ahead, bro. People love differently. Exactly. So let them love how they love. Stop controlling how they love. Let them love how they love. People love differently. People live differently. People love differently. People live differently. One and the same. Allow them to be them. Let them grow how they need to grow. Let them find whatever teachers they need to find. 
Let them make whatever mistakes they need to make. Do what you can to help. That's fine. If your way of loving is by giving advice to tell somebody to be something that they not, don't be mad when they don't do what you say. That's it. That's all I got to say. Put your opinion out there. Just know it's wasted energy because I already told you who I am. I know who I am. I'm tapped into that. All the mistakes that I've made in my life up to this point, I'm proud of them. All of them because they've made me who I am. I'm done hiding Bro, I have a hidden folder, a hidden folder in my phone, pictures of me, hidden. It don't feel right, bro. It don't feel spiritual. I don't feel like I need to put it out there for the whole world to see, but I want to be able to express it. And I want to share me as an art. I want to share myself as an art. Bitch, get the fuck out of here, you lame ass hoe. You know who the hell I'm talking about. Bye. So bye. So anyway, express yourself, bro. Express your energy. Love yourself. Set your boundaries. They setting their boundaries and you like, you go, sis. Yeah, sis. You go, sis. Yeah, fuck that nigga. Even though he's the daddy of your baby and he's a really good guy who hasn't really ever done anything wrong to you. He except for give you everything that, that you wanted in your insecurities. Yeah, fuck that nigga and fuck your family. But y'all got my family fucked up. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm always going to stand up for Janae and Velvet. I'm always going to be there for them. And they know that. And they know that. I want to run an OnlyFans with them. I don't know how realistic that is. That's something we probably could have did. Real shit. We probably could have did that. But I'm going to just do it anyway. And I'd love to see. I'd love to see your trends. I had to think about it. I'm like, what if I saw them doing it? What if I saw other people doing it? How would I feel? I'd be like, oh, shit. She out there. Why is she doing that? No. That's my pussy. No, that ass belongs to me. I need to put a tattoo on it. Fuck out of here, bro. They do what the fuck they want to do with their bodies anyway. I don't know where the fuck they at. They both pregnant with my child. I don't know if they out there sucking dicks. I don't know what the fuck they out there doing, bro. I have no idea. I have to trust that they're in control so I can feel good if I'm insecure. Bro, I can't care like that. They're gone. They leave my house. They leave me. I can't do nothing about that. They don't love me then. They need me to be something else for them to be with me. Then they don't love me. Period. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God, bro. If you have to change me so desperately, oh, I have tea right here. Oh, yeah, this is the little thing, the little thing sprouting. It's sprouting now. Look at that. That's fine. Bro, oh, God, bro. I don't care. I'm going to be putting on this nice jewelry and shit. I'm going to be putting on my jewelry. Naked. <laughs> I love it, bro. I'm with it. Look, my G right here. My G right here, basically naked. He basically naked. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Man, most females are lame as my lame and mine is there anyway in the end. Yeah, man. I'm like, I'm good on trying to appease fans, trying to appease women that treat me like shit and then expect me to do more for them. That's called narcissism. Trying to make a if y'all go back to her video, watch the video of trying to label me as a narcissist, she literally fits the exact character. I don't. I think about everybody else first. I do the most I can for everybody else. Even this is for my children. I'm not, I don't need money for me. I don't care to have money for me. I'm good. I got everything I need. I'm over and still don't waste no bands. Let's talk about investments. I still won't hold your hand. That's a good song I got. I just want to make, I just want to make my music. Oh, that song's from Keyblade. I just want to make my music, bro. I got a $10,000 studio right here. Okay. I just want to make my music. All right. I just want to do my thing. I just want to do my affirmations. Okay. I just want to make my music. I just want to control the temperature in my house. You see? Okay. I just want to sleep where the fuck I want to sleep. I want to do what I want to do. Got empty ass rooms, bro. For no fucking reason, bro. Empty ass rooms for no reason. And they leave me knowing I still got to keep paying for this shit, bro. For no fucking reason. They leave me knowing I still got to pay for this shit just to, just to do what? Just to have what kind of energy for what reason, bro? Like, that's my whole house. It ain't, it ain't all that. I don't need all that. 
I really don't need much. I'd be in the living room only. Like, I might as well be in a studio apartment. It's the only space I'd be in anyway. Other than that, it's absolutely beautiful outside. Like, I haven't showed y'all the outside, I don't think, too. Oh, no, it's on the YouTube. Y'all can go on my, the link in my bio on the YouTube. We still have the tour on, on there. And you can see, actually, the space I live in. It is very beautiful where I'm at. LOL, you mad because they ain't pay your bills. <laughs> you mad because they ain't pay your bills? Bitch, I done paid all the bills this whole time. I ain't mad about that, and I ain't asked them for a dollar. I ain't never need a dollar from them. They want more now that we're not together. And they're trying to make this the thing to where I'm a bad guy. Bitch, I don't want you. I'm not chasing you. I'm done with you. I'll call you what the fuck I want at this point because y'all treat me like absolute shit publicly. There's 136 people in here. It was like 500 people in that room. And she proudly is trying to shit on her own baby daddy. Like that makes her look better. And I caught it from the beginning. And I said, hey, this is some bullshit. I know what you're trying to do. And I'm not about to give you the answers you want. I'm not about to do it. I just explained to you vulnerably. I just exposed my heart. I just gave everything open. Uh, no, no, it's not an Airbnb. I got the, this is my spot. So, but I will be doing Airbnbs. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to use OnlyFans money to invest in Airbnbs, to invest in um, different kind of ventures that I actually have out here right now to continue to fund the NFT projects that I do have. Like this isn't the source of my life, but this move right here is a major move for me in my life, spiritually, metaphysically, in every way. It is a big move for me. I don't have to do it. Obviously, I, I never had to do it. I never did do it. And I was still been able to pay more than the bills and go over abundant and make sure we live in a luxury life. Those women have done nothing but lived luxury life with me. Luxury life. That's all they've ever done. And I'm fresh out of cult with no job. And I've made more money in a couple months than y'all make in a year. Facts. Don't talk to me about how to make money or how to get a job. Don't talk to me about how to get a house or this or that, bro. Like, it takes time for certain things. You don't just jump into certain things from being straight out of cult. Bro, for years. Like, this shit's crazy. Like, and I got to accept that. I got to really think about that and accept all of that. And I can't let what happened in my past determine my future too, too much. I can learn from my past. What I'm learning from my past is to stop being such a submissive, passive bitch. That's what I've learned from my past. Would you rather me be that again? Is that Courtney to y'all? The passive, submissive bitch? Sassy Solar? That's who you want me to be? I can't be that for you anymore. I'm Sukuna now. I'm Sukuna now. Off with your head. Off with your head. There is, no, it's no more of that. I really don't care anymore. I don't care. I lost my first child. My second child is being like literally pulled away from me and like blocked off from me publicly. Random ass people calling themselves uh, my daughter's not even born yet. God, they call themselves her godmother. And Janae just like, ah, don't know these people. But that's not even I can't. What, what you want me to do about that? You want me to go stalk her? You want me to go chase her down? You want me to go kidnap her? I have tried to be there. I have tried to fly there. I've had tried to create connections. I have even had my mother trying to talk to them for me so I can get to them, so we can all be cool and one in a family. I've always been on that side. They've always been on the side of no, 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 no. Because you're with Velvet. You're with the devil herself. You're with Velvet. You're with the devil. So you can't have your family. And what's Velvet doing? The same thing. The same thing. She's just doing it now. She wasn't doing it before. Now she's doing it. She keeps leaving and leaving and leaving and leaving. There's zero commitment, bro. I don't give a fuck about relationships. That's the one thing I've also learned about my life, bro. Is fuck relationships. Fun fact. My south node is Taurus, which is the ruler of Venus and the moon. Venus, my Venus is in Taurus as well. I don't give a fuck about relationships anymore. Okay? I was very deeply committed to many things in my past life. To a fault. Y'all y'all should hate me, if for anything, for being too deeply committed. Too deeply committed to other things. And don't worry about how I feel. Courtney, you over, over talk and get irate. I don't, but then don't talk to me. What you want to talk to me about? To tell me how I need to be? To change my energy? You can't accept my energy, so you need to leave. You gotta go. 
You can't take the heat, stay out the kitchen. You ever heard that? Okay. I ain't, the sun ain't about to turn down for your weak ass. No, I'm going to continue to be me. This is who I am. I don't talk like this all day. And, well, I'm a very understanding person. And I can be calm. And we can just talk about this like adults. And, no, what do, you, what do I need to do to be in my child's life? What do I need to do? What, how can I serve you and appease you, goddess? No, I'm not about to pull up as a servant, okay? I want to be a king. You need to treat me like a king, all right? Bro, I, fuck all that shit, bro. All that shit is pussy, bro. All that shit is beta pussy shit. I'm good on all of that shit, bro. All of it, bro. I had to wake up. There's a reason why where I'm from, it ain't nothing but pimping music. There's a reason I was raised in that culture, and I've been fighting it for a very long time. Bro, I don't have a problem with women. I love women. I respect the fuck out of women who respect themselves as well. Even more so. So to me, it ain't about that. It's about respecting myself. Bro, my life be in shambles sometimes because I do nothing but give to these relationships. In shambles. And they could give less of a fuck. They could give less of a fuck. This is how much of a fuck they could give for my well-being, bro. This is how much of a fuck they could give for my well-being. They got to turn... The, my favorite only shirts. I don't have that many that much clothes. This is what they gotta do to me upon when for, for no reason, bro. For no reason. Niggas ain't do shit to them. I stopped having sex with Velvet for like four days, bro, and this shit happened, bro. Just cause I was tired. Nigga wanna get his energy back. And she tore up all the savage fancy clothes, bro. Like fuck what y'all talking about. Fuck love, bro. Like fuck nah, nigga. That's not love over there. I'm going through other shit, bro. I'm giving love and I'm experiencing something else. And I cried yesterday, yesterday rise, uh, no, last night. Was it last night? No, it was yesterday rising. I cried because I'm like, bruh, I really am doing nothing but giving all that I got every day to everyone, to these, to, to my wives, doing the most I can for them, breaking myself, breaking, breaking um, my own boundaries and everything just to maybe have my children in my life. Just to maybe have my children in my life. Doing all of this. I'm, 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 I'm spending all of everything that I've earned just so people can have a little bit of security and peace of mind. So I'm paying, the day before she left, I paid for an art class for her. And we did her art and we realized like, bro, there's a lot of healing to do. They're like, damn, Solar, you an angel. You really working with her. These are spiritual people who really understand shit. And they seen her, they it was real with her. They kept it real with her. They said, hey, girl. You got some really, some serious fucking healing to do. I'm not against that, bro. I would actually let them stay in this house and I would leave the house. I care that much and I want them to heal that much and I want them to be safe that much. But I don't give a fuck no more because I know they're safe. I know they're good. And I know the people that they with. And the people that they with, I know what they on too. I get it. I know what time it is. All you had to do was show me that. All you had to do was move a certain way. Velvet might say she leaves because of this and that. She doesn't like her eye move. Well, guess what? You guys have removed yourselves. You can stay wherever you are at. I don't care. I will be there for my children. If you ever fall in love with me again, it's because I'm such a good dad to my children. My children. Everything I'm doing, all the money I plan to make, all of this is going to my children. Setting something up, bro. I don't need money for much. I don't really need much. I love to give. I got a Virgo Mars. I give. I have a Scorpio North Node. I give. I'm a 12th house sun. I give. I'm 12th house Mercury. I give freely. It's about time I start giving to myself. It's about time I start giving to myself. Solar, King Love, what do you want? What do you want to do? You always doing what, what's best for everyone. You always doing this and doing that. And you wake up depressed. You wake up hurt. You wake up sad. But, but you're doing so good. And you're only doing good. And you're only doing this. You're only doing that. Are you the story of Job? Am I going through all this pain and suffering? The story of Job? But just, to, just to lose everything. And just, bro, this isn't that case. I've already lost everything. I've already lost my first wife. I've already lost my second and my third. I've already lost all three of my children and they, none of them even made it here yet. 
None of them even made it here yet, and I've lost all my children, bro. What the fuck? You think I got time to care about your opinion? No, I don't. You guys, can I can tell you my true situation, and you still wouldn't give a fuck. I could show you and prove to you all of the lies that they have said. Y'all still going to choose to believe them. If, if you are not a part of the y'all that I'm saying, then you automatically would be excluding yourself. But if you're not and you're being offended, it's because you're one of them niggas. Period. You ain't my real friend, bro. You ain't my real homie. You can unfollow me because if you don't unfollow me, I'll probably end up blocking you. I am the common denominator. Exactly. So I'm going to focus on me. I don't care what the numerator is. I'm not worried about no numerator no more. That's the common denominator, right? Me. You are correct. Cha-ching. Right. Correct. I am the common denominator in my life. You are watching my life. So, duh, I'm the common denominator. It's my page. Those are my babies. And guess what? I ain't do nothing but take people out of their shitholes. Ask them. I ain't do nothing but take people out of their shitty situations. Velvet, Ohio was not a good situation. No, it wasn't. Stop. It wasn't. There's a reason why we got the fuck out of there ASAP. That was nothing. That was no. That's not. Bro, no. Like, I'm paying for shit. I'm buying shit. I'm earning things. I'm working. I'm sacrificing. Excuse me if I want to take a day or two to chill. I grant that to myself. I might disappear sometimes for a couple days because I need to recalibrate. I need to regenerate. And I'll take care of myself in those ways. But you're right. I'm the common denominator. I'm going to live the life that I live. And if I lose everybody in that process, I'm in my purpose. Scorpio, North Node. One of the hardest ones. One of the most painful ones because we have to experience such intense loss. And then mine's in the fifth house. So it's the loss of children. And I need to learn to continue how to express myself. Without worrying about what y'all people think about me. You understand? Like, I don't got time to be worried about what you think about me. So June 2nd, I'm opening up my OnlyFans. I already got hella content. I already have other people who have contacted me that want to partner with me on some of this stuff. Already mad, beautiful other women that I'm putting on with this stuff that they want to do it. They, there's people who put me onto this shit. And I've actually been fighting this for at least two years. Like, I have this page, bro. I've had this page for a minute. I've had this page for a long time. Nobody told me to do this. I made this when I was at Carbonation, but nobody told me to make it. Nobody told me to do it. I was researching this for a while, for a while. And I really wanted to do it. So I'm going to change this. This isn't what it's going to be. I'm going to change everything right here, right? But I just logged in to see what it would look like again. And I was like, shit, I'm doing this. I'm going to do it again because I want to get into it. I got pictures. I got pictures on the internet. As a matter of fact, some of you weirdo trolls like the T, they have private chat rooms where they share pictures of my penis. They share naked pictures of me. I don't know if you guys know this. The, The people who troll me online... They have private talk groups where they exchange naked pictures of me that they've got from wherever they got. Because I'm a little, <laughs> I'm a little freak sometimes. So I done sent some little things out there. I have. Just like y'all. I have. <laughs> I be a little freak sometimes. So they done got a hold of some of them pictures, man. I ain't getting paid for that shit. And now I am. Look, is it big? Nine and a half. Nine and a half and thick. You know? Yeah, there's a thing out with that, yup. So who cares? Because there's already so much out there. Like, who cares? Like, I'm, bro, I don't care anymore. Y'all just gotta understand that. Like, see, like, y'all don't care. Do the kids? I don't think so. I don't know how that works. That'd be interesting to look at. I don't think that's how it works, though. Yeah, I don't know what y'all, I don't know what y'all doing. Oh, no, no, no. They told me themselves. Because once I was trying to be their friends, when I was with Janae, is when I found this out. Because I was trying to talk to the T, trying to be cool with T. 
ended up talking to other uh, the Bigo people and things like that. And I found out they got a little room where they, they share like whatever news they would put up onto YouTube. So I don't know. They got a, a little group. A little, I don't really care that much. I like I block the T. I don't fuck with them. I don't like them. I don't. They do nothing but try to tear my family apart. That like those are the devils in my in my in the women's ears. Like Janae and Velvet, like bro, like Velvet. I would say is more independent on how she moves. Like moving how she wants to. I just think it's a little reckless. But that's just my opinion, right? She's following her heart. She's an Aquarius. That's Empress energy. She's gonna follow whatever she feels she needs to do. If she didn't leave me how she left and did all the things that she did, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing right now. I wouldn't be doing this right now if Velvet hasn't been moving how she's moving. So. Actually, all I got to do is say thank you. Like, thank you, Velvet, for treating me like shit. Thank you, Velvet, for disrespecting the fuck out of me. Like, thank you, because you're making, you made a man, you're making a man out of me. Like Andrew Tate would say, you know, it's like once you realize that these bitches don't give a fuck about you. Like, bro, you could be, you could be with a woman for like five, six years. And that's still another dude's one night stand. Like, I was like, wow, bro, that's real. And I've experienced that. I don't know... Are ex have experienced any like real loyal women. I think my mother, I see my mother's experience. She had a very hard dating life. She was not, you know, there's no infidelity there, but it was a very interesting dating life growing up, seeing all those different guys. I remember, you know, her trying and, you know, I could see the different quality of men at different times and different time frames how much certain people would do and how deep certain commitments would go. And funny story, a lot of the guys ended up cheating on my mother. Not, not even like, not even that being the big point, but it's like they, they committed and did all these things and then they back out of the commitments. But I ain't never back out of a commitment, not once. I've never backed out of a commitment. I've never broke up with any of these women. I've never left them for dead. I've never abandoned them. I've never robbed them. I've only loved them, given them. I give them everything they've ever wanted. Yeah, and it's a chance it's not you. Every woman has a guy they'll bust it open for, and there's a chance it's not you. And they can be married to your ass. And they still don't want to have sex with you. Like, they be like that. So, what, that's right. Like, what I look like, what, what I look like chasing women who are dissing me. What I look like, bro. What I look like chasing women who rather fuck my friends. Bro, what I look like chasing women that want to fuck my friends and you saying that you need to pray for me and the healing from the cult mindset. The cult mindset is what made me submissive. The cult, so let me, let me address you real quick. And I'm going to pin this because you dumb as fuck. And you act like a friend, but you're not. You are up and I see you. You're one of the people I'm talking about that get the fuck you, right? So you, Tisha. The cult mindset is what had me operating like a beta male. Anybody uh, who's watching knows that. We watched Alihio beat women. We've watched him step on their heads. They've stayed and allowed him to do these things and then would fuck him and suck him afterwards. We're watching our wives, our women, get beaten, abused, and fucked by another guy. That's the cult mindset. The That's the case now, and it's funny. You see? Yeah, that's crazy. They glad I'm out. See, I fucks with you. I fuck with people like you, bro. Gratitude. Me too, man. I'm glad I'm out. I'm glad I'm not in that shit no more. Shit, I'm glad I'm not in toxic relationships anymore. Man, I'm glad I'm choosing to be with myself. I got sexual energy still, and I'm going to express it, and I'm going to share it how I want. I could have a woman in here every day if I wanted to. I could have a woman in here every day, finer, bad, white. I don't. I don't want to. 
I don't want to have sex. I haven't had sex. Last time I had sex was with Velvet. Only four days of no sex with Velvet and she was gone. I usually have sex every day with my woman. But ever since she left, ever since they left, I just I don't care for it. There's been other women, they're trying to link up. Hey, come here, let's do that, let's do that. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm working. I just tell I'm working. Sorry, I'm working, I'm at home, and I am. Because I'm sitting here making music, I'm putting certain things together online. I'm, I've been putting together a lot of different foundations and platforms and, and networking in different ways. So I'm just glad that this is a different day. You know, I'm glad I get to focus on my music. I get to focus on my health, wealth, and greatness. And if that's a problem to you, I think you're very confused. First off, it's what are you doing for the child? And now I'm doing everything. I'm going into the most, the most taboo things to do things for my child. And now that's a problem too. No, you just want me to get a job. You just want me to work at Goodyear Tires. You just want me to work at AMC movie theaters, sweeping the movie theater so you can look down on me. Or so you can look equal eye level with me, but we're not the same. I'm different. I'm different. I'm not built like that. I'm built like this and I'm not going to change. And if you guys think that this is toxic, if you think this is bad and this and that, well, then I'm going to be single. I will literally live my life single, knowing that my love is real. I'm okay with that. They know I love them. They both know how deeply, how much I really, really love them. And they know that they doing the most they can to hurt me intentionally. They know that. And it's a shitty way to get attention. It's a shitty way to try to control me and manipulate me. I have to get on my knees and bend over backwards just to come into the room to maybe talk to Janae. When she's the one who broke up with me. I didn't break up with her. And she's talking about what I'm not doing for her when she just broke up with me multiple times. And then called my homies and slept at their houses. If there's anybody to get a blood test on, it's Janae. Velvet is at least loyal. Velvet will at least stay around. She just going through other things. She got to tell her story. I'm not here to tell her story. All I know is what they've done to me and what they've done with me. And I'm done suppressing myself for someone else. Velvet will not be my new Eligio. Janae is not going to be my new Eligio. That's what's happening. Velvet is about to be my new Eligio if I start let, sacrificing every little thing about me and my morals and my standards to, and my desires and my true heart to be with her. I have to be fake. I'm good. I, that's a major red flag. I'm good. That's not love. She's pregnant now. Yes. My love in there was very real. My love for her is very real. I ain't got no problems with her. I'm actually saying thank you. Thank you, Empress. For moving from your crown and making divine moves because it's helping me step into my emperor. So to Velvet, thank you, Empress. To Janae, I've given her her flowers over and over and over again. And my text messages is literally filled with just me giving her love and support for the child. And when I send her messages, I'm considering that like, you know, um, I'm considering that like, you know, with Janae... She's pregnant. I don't want to hurt her feelings. How can I make her feel good? Or maybe she doesn't reply and she reads this. Maybe she can just smile and giggle. You know, um, something like, oh, my God, I hate this guy. But ugh. <sighs> at least he's nice. You know, I'm, I'm sending messages hoping that that's the case. You need to learn how to allow someone to speak. Um, how about I just remove you? You got to talk. And I responded. That's what happens also. People can say whatever they want and people can speak however they want. It's going to attract certain crowds. It's going to repel certain crowds. Somebody can go blaring rock music and you can go and say, you need to learn classical music. Bitch, I don't play classical music. I could be, I could be making rap music. And you could be like, oh no, you should sing. I like to rap. Okay. Well, you could try singing. All right, I'll try singing. All right, that shit worked. Thank you for the advice. <laughs> I've already, you guys don't understand the extents that I've gone to and the silence that I've taken in the relationships. You guys have no idea how much I've bit my tongue already. 
You, you need to learn how to do this. You need to learn how to, you just asking me to be a beta male again. And I just told you, bro, I'm not going that way. I think you need to work on yourself. And I think you need to figure out what you need rather than coming around someone else and telling them what they need to do. I don't go into your rooms telling you what you need to do. I don't do that. You, you come into my room telling me what to do. I'll take the opinions and I love y'all. Y'all more than welcome to share your opinions and to share your ideas. More than welcome. I would love to receive them. You can scream them, you can shout them. Actually, a lot of people talk to me in a very trollish format. Like, it's just me, 515, right? She be talking shit. But I keep her in here because she actually be saying some things that makes me think. She not, she not playing with y'all. He, she, see, look, he's talking shit. Like, but I think it's funny sometimes. I don't have to get offended by everything. I speak with passion. You don't have to get offended and be like, oh my God, he's, he's feeling himself. No. Kind of like it. I'm going to stay here and watch a little bit longer, though. Get your freak ass out of here. I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. You ain't got a problem with me. You like me. <laughs> you don't want me to be quiet. You want me to get louder. You want me to scream some more. I'm figuring this shit out, man. Slowly but surely. In life and in, in, in life and in the bedrooms and all of that, bro, it's A1. It's A1. When when do the dick in her and it's and it's and it's good, it's like, I'm so sorry I'm doing this. Oh, I'm, I know I'm, I'm being a bad girl. Tell me, tell me to stop leaving. Tell me to stop doing this. Tell me. Bitch, stop leaving. Stop, like, just stop, like, bro. What you think it is, bro? That's, that's a little bedroom secret. But I guess that's, like, normal, though. I think that's normal in, in relationships. When the man's having sex with a woman and the woman says, oh, oh, daddy, discipline me. I don't know. That's what I go through. Zoka used to ask me to slap her in sex. And I'm like, are you serious? I didn't want to do that. I actually didn't like that. I didn't like that. You know, but I, I, I did it that one time for her. And I think I did it like three or four more times afterwards. But for Zoka, that was always a, like a BDSM thing. That was always like a sex thing with her. That's the Scorpio Aries in, in her entire chart. You know, that's that, that's that, yeah, so that's what that was. That's not really for me. I really don't like that. I really don't even like, when, when I'm having sex, I really don't even like smacking ass. Like, I really don't even do all that. I'm really sensual. I'm more about the breath. I'm more about the energy exchange. I'm more about, like, the connection. You know, I'm really more about, like, this being a spiritual experience. And I get a way better response from that. So I'd way rather just take the ta tantric approach. Um, I have a lot of control of my energy, so much so that I, have to, I like to keep the fire going. I like to keep my fire going. You're a Virgo, I got a Virgo Mars. That means I'm filled with all kind of energy to, to give to my partner. So they be busting nuts. I be making these girls go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And we got our own porn videos and shit like that. We got our own content, probably never put it out there, but some of the videos I've got with these, they like the best videos I've ever seen. Like, God damn, I wish I could put them online. If y'all seen some of these videos, y'all be like, I ain't talking shit no more. <laughs> I ain't talking shit no more. Uh, so where do I sign up for the tantric class? <laughs> That's why I kind of wanted to go into OnlyFans because I think it's going to allow me to open up to teaching actually true healthy sexual practice because that is a gift of mine that y'all would never really know about. Velvet and Janae knows. Velvet, Janae, and Zoka, they know about my gift. They know. They ain't never going to say nothing like, oh, the sex is right. They'll never say that. Gemini, y'all told her neighbors she wasn't satisfied with you. I'm sure she would say that. Because I don't always be wanting to have sex with her. When we do, it's great. She be very, very, very satisfied. <laughs> How come they call you Tiny Timmy? Go sign up to OnlyFans and see if that's a true statement or not. I don't need to prove that to you. <laughs> I'm rubbing my dick right now. Like, I can't even show it to you right now. Like, bro, like, what you talking about? I'm about to get in the shower, clean up. Shit, I might make some content right now. I'm about to finish shaving. I'm gonna get in the shower. 
We gonna see Tiny Timmy. They love Tiny Timmy. Tiny Timmy got them bitches pregnant, right? That's what she said? No, that's not what she said, because it's not true. And if she said that, it's a lie. Like, it's always lies. I'm tired of the people treating me like shit. They can talk shit about me and all this stuff, but I can't say one thing that's true about them. I'm not here to talk shit. I'm here to tell the truth and live in truth. And nobody's speaking the truth for me. Who is speaking up for me? Who is defending my honor? These people are attacking a dead man. These people would attack a dead man's honor who can't defend himself. Ain't nobody out here defending my honor. Ain't nobody out here defending me for shit and they won't. No one's out here telling my story. I have to tell my story. Y'all don't know what, they, what, what I'm going through. And I don't need to tell y'all because actually that's how much respect I got for them. Y'all know maybe about 10% now. Y'all know about maybe 10% that be going on in my life. 90%, bro, y'all don't know. You guys would be giving me way more credit and cookies if you've seen how I was in a day-to-day -day life, in our realities, in our relationships. You would see how I'm not toxic. I'm by far. They'll be like, damn, you really giving a lot, ain't you, bro? A lot. And they gave a lot, too. Don't get it twisted. Velvet put in work. Velvet put in work, bro. She went crazy on that YouTube. Uh, Janae, she was going hard on her tarot readings. And I mean, if that's you doing what you love to do, great. But the truth is, I know that we all want to be sexy online. I do. <laughs> I do. I want to be sexy online. I don't, I want to. Y'all don't have to want that. I want that. That's for me. That make me happy. <laughs> that don't need to make y'all happy. I'm not saying that's a spiritual practice for you to do. The spiritual practice is to do what you want to do. The spiritual practice is to be in tune with yourself enough to know what is for you. This is so much in alignment for me. There's so many things that play out in my life for me to do this successfully. I'm like, bruh, I'm literally the only reason I'm not doing this now because I care about what y'all think. You see what I'm saying? You care about what I think. Go put on a blouse. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. I'll do whatever you say. I'll do whatever you say. You said put on a blouse? All right. I just want to have my child in my life. I'll put the blouse on. Do you accept me now? Is this better? I've got the blouse on. I still don't have pants on, but I got a, I've got a blouse. Can I have my children now? Can I love my women now? May I? I? It's on. I got it. It's on. It's on. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it. This is the shirt that I called the blouse. I'm wearing it. It's a button up white shirt, dummy. You knew that from when I said it. This is what I was wearing. <laughs> but hey, can I have my kids now? I've done what you've asked of me. I've... I've done, I've done what you've asked of me. I've done it. May I, please, please, may I have a conversation with you, Janae, please. Velvet, please don't leave me. Velvet, please, no. What must I do? What must I do? I am nothing. I am nothing. I am no one. I am merely here for you. Bro, I'm an actor, bro. I love to have fun, bro. I love my life, bro. My life is awesome. I love my life, bro. I love me. Like, me behind closed doors, bro. I'm a Gemini, bro. I'm goofy as hell. Like, I'll be having mad fun in my life. Like, you guys can't hurt my feelings anymore. I've hurt them more than you ever could. Yeah, fuck all that, bro. That was, that was carbonation. You remember that, Pure? Pure, you remember that? That's, that was what it was. That is what it was. Y'all should be proud of me at this point. Somebody help this guy, please. Why? Because you want me to go back to that? Would you like me to go back to that behavior? Get a job and buy some Pampers. I don't need a job to buy the Pampers. I always buy the Pampers. Never needed the job. And I got a job. Only fans, bitch. Does that make you happy? They pay. I have to sign up. Taxes come out of that. It's a job. So Blue Badoo, I got a job now. Hey, yo, I got a job. Oh, shit. Yo, I got a job now. 
Hey, Solar got a job now. Yeah, I'm glad you left when you left too, bro. See, it's just like that. Like, we thought you were a bad person and we was talking shit about you as you were leaving, weren't we? But you was actually kind of ahead of the game. We should have left as well, shouldn't we have? But what did we do? Including the world. Pure, we talked shit about you, Pure. Didn't we? I remember. I remember what we did. We talked shit about him. We were doing this, we were saying that, we were saying this, online, offline, the people too were calling Pure all kind of names and everything. But I'm, he said, I'm glad I left when I did. In about a year's time frame or less than that, maybe like a month, a couple months, I'm going to be looking back and y'all going to be looking at it like, yo, there's some respect for there at least. Like, I'm glad he stepped up to do what he wanted to do. I'm glad he's following his heart at least. Them women doing what they want to do anyway. I'm not about to augment my life and live my life to keep them in it. That's not love. That's not love. Y'all can say everything that you want to say, but it doesn't matter to us. It doesn't matter. Y'all going to see later. It wasn't until what? About three years did we see that Pure was actually correct. Pure was right. He was correct. He was correct. You sound just like envy, envy many lives. Good. I don't care. You can find a number of people who sound like him on live. Go. Go tell them how much they sound like. Hey, you ever heard of Nature Boy? You sound like him. Go find more people to tell that because I'm not the only person that talks with passion on a camera. And if you knew anything about our astrology and who we really were, which you don't, then you would realize that me and him literally, the things that control this type of energy, me and him have exactly the same. I have a cancer moon in the first house, 27 degrees. The moon is arguably the most important point in your in astrology. It determines your north node and south node. It determines your ascendant. It determines your Lilith. The moon is your subconscious anyway. It determines your vertex. The moon is arguably one of the most important planetary bodies that you have. Mine is um, Cancer moon, Cancer Leo moon, 27 degrees, first house. Alihio's was Cancer Leo moon, 27 degrees, first house. We have the same exact moon to the degree. To the degree. And funny, take notice, we have... Children with the same women. Astrology. We share the same women and wives. That's what the moon does. That's crazy. Yeah, because me and him are still completely different. We have things that are similar, where we act similar, but we're completely different. My heart is a heart of gold. His heart is a heart of mold. That's talking shit. <laughs> he probably the only person I talk shit about. Just because at this point, you know, in this juncture, everything that's happened. Like, but even then, love still has to win there. And I just have to accept, bro, that's who he is. He's a red shifting entity. I believe phase one was talking about that. Uh, conscious dude on here. But the truth is, bro, like, you was right, pure. We should have left. You followed your heart against what everybody was saying. When everybody was talking shit to you and throwing shit at you and chasing you down and doing this and trying to make fun of you for this and that and you was doing your best, bro, we made you feel like shit about it the whole way through. The whole way through and to the end, bro. And at the end of the day, you were correct. And you win because you chose to love yourself and you chose to follow your heart and your spirit. You didn't need many reasons or anything. That was enough for you. So salute to you, Pure. Salute to you, bro. For real. Because you was right. You was correct. You feel me? Yeah, you absolutely correct, bro. Yeah, I feel that, like, yeah. Like, I'm doing my best to see the best in all of these situations myself, but it just ain't working out. Hey, what's up, Rajay? I'm going I'm to end this right now, and I'm about to go ahead and just put this up. I'm going to go take a shower. I'm probably going to make some content after I do my hair. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but to end this message and to end it out, like, healthily and properly, I just want to say this one more time. Is thank you, Empress. Thank you, Velvet. Empress energy, star energy, uh, Aquarian energy for following your heart. 
um, doing what you had to do, um, leaving me and how you left me. Hey, YJ. Hey, what's up? Leaving me how you left me and doing what you did to me every time that you've done it. I just want to say, you know, thank you for being you. And there's no shade attached to that. That's like the realest thing because it has sparked me to really step into my purpose and to really make me own my power and really make me own my crown. So Velvet is a powerful entity. She did really, she has really helped me activate this, you know, by her behaviors and her actions and them being pregnant, Janae and her, and then treating me how they treated me is showing me how I'm treating me and what I allow. And the reason why people would stay, yeah, go to the beach and relax, right? The, the reason why people would stay at a place like carbonation is because they, they would allow themselves to be treated by a legio like that. So that means that's really how they feel about themselves. So thank you for the mirror. Thank you for the, the wake up. For real, I'm grateful because now I realize that I have not been loving myself with y'all. And then I'm gonna have, I might have more moments where I'm like, dang, but I really want my kids. I really want my kids. I really want to be with them. I really want to be with them. But I just need y'all to know that now the doors, I will leave the doors open for all of y'all, for us to be connected, for our children. I don't really know about the relationship. I really don't think I ever want to be in a relationship again, for real, for real. I think that I want to just continue to love myself like forever. And then just, bro just continue to express me and if me owning my own power and if me wanting to keep my sexual energy to myself for any one day or two if that is something that you have to leave me because you must have my sexual energy every single day no nah, bro that's just a serial monogamous that's not commitment that's not marriage and i don't i don't know about loyalty anymore i don't think i've ever seen real loyalty no, my, my readings are 300 right now. When I start making my own bags and the readings are no longer my only way of making money and having like really trying to put a tag to my value, like 300 is still diminishing the value compared to what I really can give to you and what I really would put together for you and work on with one person like at a time in their family. Like it's really supposed to be way more up there, but y'all don't know that, but that's okay. Upper echelon, higher class people know that and pay that regularly. I'm a lower class, middle class astrologist. Like I'm like the people's astrologer type shit. Like, nah, bro, I'm good. So let my bag start coming in. Yeah, that price is gonna start going up because I really don't need it. Should have just took, took I don't know what that means. It's crazy velvet ass really over, but I don't know what they on. I don't know what they doing. I don't know why they doing it. No, she left cause you wouldn't fuck her. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember now. Thank you. I don't know. I don't care. Uh, Shaka is a little um, irrelevant to me. What's his page? Keep your prices. Yeah, I'm going to keep my prices. Everything, all the links are in my bio. Y'all can go to my bio and get all the links. The OnlyFans link was going to go up there. Um, I'm going to launch it on June 2nd. So four days from now. And I'll just be making content. And I'm going to do a little countdown. We're going to do a countdown until we drop this thing. Who and Mike Rand will listen to you. Yeah, exactly. I don't care. Not you, right? Somebody named Malia left her son for NB. I mean, that's your name. I, I don't expect you to make any good moves in life. That's what I expect. But you do what you do. And I'm not going to stop you from doing what you do. Like, I just see you and I acknowledge you. And I think you're weird. Just an opinion. But y'all come in here and give me opinions. I don't stop you from doing that. I just move through. So, pure. Hey, shout out to you, bro, for being so ahead of the game. And, and really showing us what love really is. You know, following your heart, regardless of what people got to say about you, regardless of their opinions, regardless of them trash talking you, shit talking you. They don't know you. They have not been around you your entire life. Shaka don't know me before carbonation to talk about me, of course. Velvet don't know me before carbonation. They don't know me. They think I am that, that only. They think I'm that only, bro. They think I'm was that beta male and then I left and then now that I'm a little more boisterous and a little more passionate with myself and my purpose that, oh, he's just another NB, bro. I'm just ex expressing my energy how it really is. And I can even explain it to you astrologically and you're still not gonna get it. If you like, you're, it's like, bro, it's like talking to a brick wall. So why try to explain it to you? I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna be me. I'm just gonna love me. And I'm just gonna not have to give a fuck about what you have to say. If I cared about what you said, I wouldn't be on live. 
If I cared about what you thought about it, I wouldn't be on live. I just want y'all to know. Countdown, four days. My OnlyFans drops. What you've done for your daughter? What have you done for your daughter? I'm about to send you a bag. I'm going to buy your whole Amazon list. Me and this dick going to continue to take care of me and my daughter. Okay? Me and this dick going to continue to take care of me and my children with Velvet. Because I care about them. I love them. I love them deeply. I care about them deeply. And I think that there's something that in this energy I'm stepping into now, I think that this is what they really do want. I ain't going to cap. That's real. I think they want me to be a man, a king, someone who owns his passion and his purpose. And that's what I want to be for myself. And today is that day. Today is that day. I release all of my past relationships. I still love them. <laughs> I still love my children. But I release the need for the titles. I release the need for the commitment. I have to be able to accept that they could be out there having sex and doing all kinds of things with other people. I don't know what they could be doing for money, for houses, for food. for the, I don't know. If y'all ever lived in the real world, you would know that shit can go down really fast, really secretly for really low prices in a moment of need and desperation. Just be strong for you, bro, and the babies. 1,000. 1,000. That's real. Be strong for me and the babies, and that's all I can do. Continue to take care of myself. Continue to make sure that I'm nice and healthy. I'm drinking my structured water, my, my H302. You know, I'm really out here, you know what I'm saying, eating. I eat a noni fruit every day. Like, every day I'm cleansing my body. I'm cleansing my my intestines, like my whole insides, everything. You know, I've literally been fasting for the past five days. The past five days I've been fasting. So, you know, I'm about to switch it up. I'm about to start working out some more again, just for me, just to stay toned, just to stay up a little bit. I'm not trying to bulk up or nothing. I like how I am now. And um, the biggest part of me is what y'all like too. <laughs> It's big dick energy, right? <laughs> it is what it is, man. Y'all hate on me if you want, if you must. I will continue to love on me, because I must. Somebody got to do it. They won't. You won't. Like, you slow as fuck, but look at your picture as a SpongeBob in his literal most retarded state. That's how you describe yourself. Aight, bro. <laughs> Aight. It's not like getting advice from somebody who's really done something dope. No, I had to clarify things. Fasting doesn't make you delusional, okay? Fasting actually provides clarity. Fasting provides clarity. It doesn't make you delusional. It's different. Um, this is what clarity is like. You haven't probably done that in a while, so you probably don't know what I'm talking about. I've done this many times in my life, and it always brings me to higher heights when I do it. So I'm glad I'm actually taking these moments to do it. Jesus loves you, Courtney, not religion. Jesus! Hallelujah. I know, I know, I know these, these women out here, they don't, they love me. They do love me. I ain't going to cap. All right. Just for a moment of zero capery, I love them and they love me. The end of the day, we're all one big happy family. <laughs> that's like, that's like with zero cap attached. That's like the truth is that they love me and I love them. And we know this. We know this. The behaviors are toxic. The relationships are toxic. They love me. They want me to be the best me. They want me to be the strongest me. They do. Y'all don't, don't get it twisted. Y'all can talk shit and they'll talk shit in these moments. But in reality, they, they love me. They do. They're hurt. You know, they're hurt. They feel hurt that I probably wasn't like this with them. If I was like this with them, it probably would be different. But because I was a little more passive with them, I could see why maybe that could be reasons why they felt... Like, they should leave and make problems out of it. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what the fucking problem really ever really was. Janae would, couldn't even comprehend the words coming out of my mouth. Velvet can comprehend them, but Velvet's going through her own things. So it's like, they're different. My problems with them are both different. You're saying I'm the common denominator, but me being a common denominator is me not completely being who I want to be as well. And I didn't even know that. 
I didn't even really know that I was being something else that I didn't want to be. Now I know what it is that I want to be stepping into my own power. And I suggest everybody else do that. I'll still be making my music. I'm still doing crypto. I'm still working with NFTs and I'm still working on the market, you know, stock market, stock exchange. Y'all should all know how this stuff works. You should understand how this works if you're buying anything in this world. Um, you know what I'm saying? Airbnbs, you're still running all that shit. Like, I'm going to get into cars eventually. I'd like to get into cars. I don't like to drive at all. But I want to get into cars. You know, still going to do the van life. Um, got land. We got to be working on some textiles. Hemp textiles. Linen textiles. Boom. Boom. My nigga on today. He on fire today. You on fire today, boy. Yeah. Even if they still hate you. Even if they... And that's why I have Sukuna on my face. Y'all ain't got to like me, but you going to respect it. You going to respect it. You see, Sukuna don't do nothing but mind his fucking business and keep his boundaries where they at. Oh, and you better believe he's going to be himself. You may not like him, but you will respect him. He's the king of the curses. I'm the king of love, which is why I control Sukuna. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not him. I control that energy within me. I could easily be that. I choose to not do that. I choose to be this Gemini, not this Gemini, this Gemini. No. But yes. I have to use all of this power, but in a loving form. What do they call it? The Hindus and the monks, they call it um, um, Buddha heart with a demon hand. This is the demon hand, okay? This is a demon hand, very powerful. But a demon hand with a demon heart is destructive. I could say I may have had that many times in my life. You know, it's metaphorical. Um, Buddha heart with a Buddha hand. It's, it's cool, but it can't get as much done. But a Buddha heart with a demon hand, this touches the whole universe. This can change everything. This is your truest power and body. This is duality. This is wholeness. This is 360. This is yin yang. This is balance. This is shadow work and light work. Okay? So it is what it is. I love to rather teach occult esoteric knowledge, but how many of y'all really would give a fuck about that? <laughs> but if I go in here talking about my dick, but I'm not even gonna do it like how it's been done before. Like I'm gonna get paid for this stuff. I'm gonna make a bag off of it. And probably the majority of people who are gonna be supporting me on there ain't even on here. And if you are on here and you wanna support me on there, you could be anonymous, I don't care. It's cool. All I know is that is that, you know, I gotta do what's best for me at this point. And I've had to accept that they could be doing they, they could be doing the worst out there. They have done the worst out there when they weren't with me. Velvet, like, tried to go with Ya Ken the moment she kicked me out of her house in Ohio, bro. To go be polygamous with another nigga, refusing to be polygamous with her old best friend, Janae. And we both have children together, and that's a family. She'd rather... You see what I'm saying, bro? It's, it's, a, diff, it's a different game they playing with me. Janae, every time I, I'm not with Janae, she's telling everybody else how she loves me while having sex with other men. And then blaming me for it because I'm staying loyal to my wife, Zoka. I have a wife already, yo. I already have a wife. It don't matter if I think you're cute or anything like that. See, that's carbonation, though, because you soft. Soft was carbonation, though. You see what I'm saying to you? So y'all got to decide. Do you want the me that's stepping into his power and is in tune with his heart and doing what he really truly wants to do and is loving himself regardless of what people think? Or do you want the soft version where he compromises everything about himself to appease other people? Which one would you really like to have? Yeah, Velvet didn't do that while she was in. Velvet doesn't do other things when she's in the relationship. When Velvet's in the relationship, she's in that all the way. She's in it. It's just the commitment part. There's other things that are with it. I really don't. I actually really trust Velvet. I really trust her. I ain't even going to cap. I don't think she's any type of a hoe. Velvet, I don't think she is. I feel like she has a lot of sexual energy, 
like majority of us, like me, but that's what makes her a perfect match for me and an empress and all that stuff. I love that. There's nothing wrong with having an abundant of sexual energy and, and wanting to be able to express that in various forms. Like I wanted to facilitate that for her as well. We never really got around to it though. And I wish that we probably just did the OnlyFans together because we probably would have a really healthy relationship right now. Facts. Um, but ultimately, you know, with Velvet, she was, she's very loyal. She, and I, don't, I, I can speculate and think of all the things that she's doing, but she's not really doing them. Worst thing about her is maybe certain relationships in the past. But I mean, who hasn't done that? Who hasn't had bad relationships in the past? Like, who hasn't made those mistakes? Y'all got to cut her way more slack, bro. Y'all can be judging me for my relationships in the past. I'm not with anybody I've been with. No, they, they have not been home. She's been loyal to every person she's been with. All of them. Pandering for money. Who's pandering for money? I got a job. <laughs> I got a job. I don't need to pander for money. I got a job and abilities, gifts and information and sexiness to offer, right? Uh, pandering. Yeah, that's something you're familiar with, I suppose. I'm repeating what she said, not speaking for her. Are you dumb? Anyway, that's speaking for her. You're telling us what she said. That's speaking for her. <laughs> you guys are not intelligent. You're not as smart as you think you are. Like the arrogant ones in here talking shit. I have to tell you the truth. You're not as smart as you think you are. Like you, you, you show a lot of dummy when you talk sometimes. And I don't think you know that. But the people who respond to you, they be on the same page sometimes. And you guys just have like this dude, dummy battle in the, in the, in the chat. You know, I, I got a job. I pay taxes with my job. I have an LLC. I got to pay taxes for that LLC as well. Um, I get a lot of money. My cash app, the money I actually do get for the readings, that all get taxed as well. You know, if you don't believe me, I use, I use Novo to track my um, business um, account expenses. Um, so I can write them off at the end of the year. Um, I'm way more professional than what y'all would think. You just don't, those are the things about me you just don't need to know. That's my personal life. That's my personal business. Like, who will go around telling you they bank in history? Like, unless I was teaching you that stuff, I don't, I'm like, no. You are broke. Well, I got a job now. I got a job now. <laughs> well, every job, so check this out. Every job pays you other people's money. Wow. Is that how it works? Send your baby money. All right. Well, let me get to work. I got, I got a job to work. I'm going to be working this job. I got this job to work. What you talking about? I'm working a job now. I'm working a job now. I got a job. You got to pay. You got, what you talking about? 30% going to, well, actually, I only pay zero to 4% on my taxes. I don't pay 30% because I have a valid Puerto Rico, um, LLC, and I can I pretty much just do as much as I can through my Puerto Rico LLC. I keep majority of all my receipts. Um, yeah, so let me see how much do I got to cover up on here, cover up this much on here, and then take a look. Like I've got an official Puerto Rico ID to where you know, like bro, I'm I'm not dumb. You guys can sit here talking to me a job, talking to me about this, talking about that. Bro, I, I, I don't have to even pay the taxes that you pay. I only pay like 4% max on taxes. And as I see myself becoming a millionaire, that's major. That's major. Are you kidding me? There's only like three states that do that. Puerto Rico, one of them. So do you want to talk to me about anything else financial or working? Because I've bought all of the houses. I've bought all of the clothes. I've bought all of the food. I bought all of the arts and crafts. I bought all of the cleaning supplies, all the amenities. I bought all the adventures and all that stuff. Get a job and send your money to your children. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Only fans reporting. I'm working for you. I'll send all of my money to you. Child's not here yet. You're saying send the money to Janae. You're telling me to send the money to Janae. You go send your money to Janae. I've invested all of my energy in Janae. And she's shit on it. And left it. 
And every time she leaves me, now that she leaves me, now I have to pay her? Y'all are retarded, bro. You guys got the game all the way fucked up. Like, all the way fucked up. Like, all the way. All the way fucked up. All the way fucked up. Got the game. All the way fucked up. Travis Porter style. Travis Porter style. Oh, hold on. I want to I wanna put something on. Hold on. <laughs> What's that thing? I hope it comes up. Yeah. Hey, I'm Travis. Oh, and I'm one of the 30 I gotta get voices from Speechland. Hold on. You listen to this. You guys all promise. But yeah, that's it's funny. That's, I didn't even know that's how it in, the intro went. Like, that intro was like spot on. I didn't even know that was the intro for this shit. I didn't even know that. See, the first problem was you tried to take my cat. 